Have you ever seen a 12 axis tool automation system? Well, I'm here on the booth at AMB with Andreas to find out all about this new system. Now, Andreas, what are we stood in front of here? Tom, good to see you. Thank you very much for coming here. Appreciate it. So here we see actually for the first time a fully automated tool room with 12 axes. So it shrinks in and out tools from diameter three to diameter 32, everything like in within two to three minutes. So it's a very high productive cell. And what we show before, like different shrink fit solutions, what we bring across the message, even if your shop is not big enough yet to run it, even an investment in an entry-level Heimer shrink fit machine will give you endless opportunities for the future in order to fully automate your tool room and make sure that you can run lights out. Now, on this system, does it just do one tool at a time or what is happening? Because it, it looks really busy. Absolutely. So what it really is now, it shrinks out the old tool, puts in the new tool. Before, it actually cleans the new tool with an ultrasonic cleaning. It will inspect the sh to shrink out tool if it's everything okay no breakage it has a semen cinomeric control uh, working on so it's working parallelly it cools down measures it shrinks in at the same time and with a cycle of two to three minutes you're changing the tool and you get great repeatability in z-axis so you can even run it on double spindle machines because you have plus minus 15 micron so much more accurate than actually a manual change of the tool plus the repeatability of the measuring accuracies with three microns so you have a very high productive cell much more accurate than manually, plus you get a great repeatability and you can use it everywhere. So how are you getting such great repeatability? What is this using to measure the tool and the tool holder to make sure when you put that tool in your machine, it's absolutely spot on? Absolutely, you know, what we have here, 12 axis machine, like you mentioned before, you have first class components like height and height glass scales, cinematic control, you have a, a Kian's high resolution, high power camera that is live watching when you take out the old tool, put in the new tool, making sure that you reach your values including correction values you know that you're reaching within microns of accuracy so everything first class component it's a machine like a machine tool the complexity actually of the 12 axis tool change is more than a five axis machine tool and we developed that in only one year bring it to the market showing it live now on amb on imts it will be on the gym Tough show and uh, this is really the first time you can have lights out production and assembly in your tool room that's you just made me think there this is the first time you will ever have lights out tool building because obviously we've got lights out machining but I've never seen a system where you can build a tool measure the tool lights out so that must be an industry first it's the industry first. We are the only ones that really hold the promise and can bring automation to the level of the tool room. So we are owning the tool room from digitization to automation. And this is the next step. And some people might think, well, this is a little bit too much for me, but, and it, but they don't have to feel intimidated because with an entry level investment in a shrinking system, we have entry level machines starting like with 10,000 or something and a shrinking holder, you can start and build up and scale on with any Heimer solution up to a fully automated tool room that maybe is good for you in five years or 10 years down the road. Now, obviously this is a great system. And what, what sort of industries would work best with this? Because obviously, or is it, could it go anywhere? Could, could, can any industry benefit from this sort of system? I mean, this is particularly for larger shops that maybe have uh, people like five to ten people working in the tool room and you know we have the labor shortage the skills gap so with this system you know uh, you have just this automated solution and you can uh, use your the, the shortage of labor use the people elsewhere in the shop because you know the times are gone when you have 20 30 year of experienced person in the tool room uh, and you know 
at the same time, the tool room actually, there is a lot of manual labor involved. And you have all this automation in your shop. You have five access machines, you're machining critical components, and then you have a manual assembly in the tool room. So it takes out the operator variable and operator error by a full automation solution. So any kind of industry that needs to be very productive, that needs to be very precise, that want to take out the equation of having manual errors, this machine is working. And the nice thing is, in a full chaotic order, three interfaces at the same time, like HSK63, HSK100, BT40, it scans the carrier first, knows where it's to position, then it will scan the unique ident number. And all Heimer holders come nowadays with a unique ident number, meaning they identify then as a tool carrier number, the stick out lengths, the diameter, then the Cognex systems and the Keyens cameras are checking the lengths of the tool, the diameter is at an H6 shaft. So it takes out any kind of error or possibility for going wrong with this automation cube. Now, I'm glad you brought up the skills gap because I saw a great saying the other day. The skills gap isn't something we need to close, it's something we need to build a bridge over. And I think this is a great step in helping companies who do have that skills gap to bring it into a way where they can't close it, they can't get more staff, but they can still be productive, they can still earn money, they can keep the machines running by having the skilled machinist on the machine not doing the tasks which like you said, can be automated. Absolutely, Tom, you're so right. Because if you have a tool room, you know, and the, your operator can load this automation cube, he can still do the other job. So he's much more productive, multitasking. You know, you can do more things. You can maybe go into programming. You can maybe look more for your machines to run. So there is a lot of opportunity of bridging the skills gap. And with this one, uh, it's just to show you th that there are endless possibilities with Heimer. So. Well, Andreas, Again, as always, you're the man. Thank you for your insight and thank you for bringing more technology to the industry to help keep us going and being on top of everything else in the world. Thank Again, you you're the man. Thank you.